My name is Brittany. I'm a psychic medium and a healer. So I'm going to be doing a spread on the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine for June 18th, 2024. The first card I get for Divine Feminine is Transformation and Inner Change. So I feel so right now the Divine Feminine is letting go of the narratives that no longer serve her. She is letting go of the emotions and feelings attached to these and she is starting anew. I feel as though the Divine Feminine is healing a lot of inner child trauma at the moment. And by transmitting this inner child trauma, she is freeing herself from the chains of her own um, thinking. With um, strength and radiance, I feel as though the Divine Feminine is also clearing a witch wound right now. The persecution wound from past lives. She is taking back her power from those who slandered her, from those who ridiculed her, so she can become who she's meant to be. And I feel as though the Divine Feminine's gifts are strengthening exponentially at this moment. She is relishing in this. She is using this newfound power in order to, um, yeah, she's in order to, for a stepping stone. I'm seeing again the Divine Femi the, the Divine Feminine is taking this as a sign that things are moving in the right direction. And she's allowing the divine to guide her as she needs guiding. With the prog progress and wishes, prayers and wishes, I am seeing that the divine feminine right now is clearing self-limiting be beliefs um, about herself at the moment. I feel as though the Divine Feminine is always thinking that she's not worthy, she's not chosen, she's not good enough, and I feel as though this is why she's working on her inner child trauma, so she can remove that thinking and actually see her manifestations rise. And I feel as though, again, the Divine Feminine's manifestations are um, becoming much more um, instant. I feel as though also the Divine Feminine is learning how to trust the process at this point. She is no longer assigning um, any narratives about um, why her manifestations are not um, holding. She's being strict with her thinking. She's no longer trying to give any power to imaginary scenarios. She's learning how to remain present. I feel as though the Divine is giving the Divine Feminine a lot of signs and synchronous things about the situation with the Divine Masculine. I feel as though right now it's not going as the Divine Feminine would hope or expect, but the Divine is telling the Divine Feminine to look on the bright side and to trust her inner knowing above all, and to stop paying so much attention to what's going on in the 3D, because that's just an illusion. The truth of what's going on is can be discovered in what the Divine Feminine feels. And that's what I get for Divine Feminine. So, the first card I'm getting for Divine Masculine is Seven of Swords. So, I feel so right now, the Divine Masculine is doing some shadow work right now. And um, this shadow work is actually showing him where he was being deceptive. Where he was being um, dishonest with himself. And I feel as though the Divine Masculine is integrating all this. He is, um, yeah, he's pretty um, astounded by his findings. He didn't think that this would be what was showing. But the Divine Masculine has no choice to, but to accept this. So he is not running from his truth. He's just taking it in stride. With um, the King of Swords, I feel as if the Divine Masculine right now is working on his father wound. And his father wound is telling him that um, he's not um, worthy enough to be a masculine. And I feel as if the Divine Masculine is unlearning his programming. He is no longer trying to um, adhere to societal standards of what a typical masculine should be. He wants to be his own personal brand. And so the Divine Masculine is working toward that. I also see the Divine Masculine's clear communication blocks at the moment. And as he clears his communication blocks, he's starting to see where he has been avoiding himself. Where he has been... Um, deceptive in his communication and the Divine Masculine is working on clearing that because he doesn't want to um, be of um, loose morals anymore. He wants to be of integrity. And the last card I'm getting 
is the Four of Cups. So I'm seeing the Divine Masculine right now is struggling with depression and anxiety at um, large quantities. I feel as though an odd incident in life, he wakes up thinking about what occurred with the Divine Feminine. And he wishes he can um, take it all back. I feel as though the Divine Masculine is connected to the Divine Feminine through dreams right now. He's actually, um, they're actually doing a lot of work in the astral realms. And I feel as though the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine are clearing a lot at the moment. They're actually also um, moving toward a more positive um, direction. What I mean is that um, it could include contact, yes, but I feel as though it's more about um, transcending that wound of separation and becoming who she's um, meant to be. And I do see the Divine Masculine's 3D self is kind of like worried. He doesn't think that the, the the situation with the Divine Feminine is salvageable. So I feel as though the Divine Master needs to work through this guilt and shame so he can hope to achieve reunion with the Divine Feminine. And that's what I get for um, Divine Masculine. If you haven't already, you can like, share, and subscribe this video. I will see you another time. Namaste.